Previously on Odin's Fear, Lifeless Seer. Get this shit out of here, blah. Oh, I'm sorry, old man. See you over there. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I'm so. Oh, fuck. Nobody saw that, right? Nobody, uh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. I gotta get out of here. And now back to. Oh, my God. That looks so freaking delicious. Ah! Oh! Sneaky B! Back with some more Odin's Fear Lifeless Seer. When we last left off, Cornelius confronted the dead king of Titania as he awakened some demon dragon from his egg and now oh, it's that baby dragon we fought before. And after once again beating his ass, this poor baby cannot catch a break, he revealed to us the truth about our uh, grandfather and father, that his grandfather turned into some crazy demon and that our father was forced to slay him with the blade that was on our back, which reveals that the person that gave us the sword in the underworld was actually our grandfather, but he did not actually want to be summoned back to destroy the world. He wanted to be left to rest. Despite the attempts of our crazy fucking assistant wizard guy, advisor to the king, who's over here like, yeah, I'm gonna go summon this crazy king of ours because I'm sure he'd love to love to come back and murder everybody. Meanwhile, he's also summoned a freaking other dragon, which by the way, I, I thought this was the first time I ran into this thing. No, we actually ran into him as Gwendolyn. That was actually the very first boss she fought. I completely forgot about that. He didn't talk to us then, all right? He did that now though. He, did, he didn't even want to be doing this. He didn't want to want to be eating everybody. Listen, this velvet chick looks really hot, okay? Seriously, I don't want to eat her, okay? I'm not into that. I prefer to eat fat chicks, okay? Look how skinny she is. She ain't got no meat on her. And after finally defeating the dragon, the dragon then ate that stupid old man. That looks like 30 other old men. And Cornelius and Velvet embrace each other together at last. Very sweet story. I, I really liked Cornelius' side. And I actually, at, by the end, I was actually enjoying playing as him even more than Gwendolyn, hilariously enough. It's really funny because like Gwendolyn, I, I think Gwendolyn is like the perfect starting point. She really is kind of like a, I feel like a jack of all trades. She is very good, but maybe not like excelling in any particular thing. And I think Cornelius, the big problem with Cornelius is that his attacks are very slow, but his bright side is that he's, his moves have far reaching effects and they flow like butter between all of the moves he has. So it's so easy to juggle people and they hit like a billion times. But it was really fun, really enjoyed it, and I had a nice uh, sweet ending to his story. But we did get at least a little bit more of a, a grasp of the world around us outside of Gwendolyn's story. Still not a lot, there's still many unanswered questions at this point. But anyway, you guys have some really uh, interesting things to say about Cornelius' uh, storyline, and someone who really brought up uh, some good points was uh, the Blue Knight 5904 who last episode said, one of the major themes of Cornelius' story is, Oh, Mr. K, will you stop? I love you too, but you... Okay, God, Jesus. You're getting in the way of my narrating. One of the major themes of Cornelius' story is appearances, specifically about how those around Cornelius force a mask on him in order to fit their own worldviews and biases. When starting Cornelius' story, one might mistake him for an irresponsible, immature young man. However, this is not who Cornelius really is, but rather who his father see him as. The King of Titania is a cowardly and paranoid man who needs to control everything to feel safe but can't control his son nor his love for the forest princess. So in order to justify his actions to himself, he must see Cornelius as a fickle youth and his love as shallow lust. There's Odette who views Cornelius as a sinner that broke into the underworld because to do otherwise would put her own authority and power into question. Odin and Brigand simply see Cornelius as nothing more than a trespassing puka because that is what fits their biases. Then there's the vengeful dragon Wagner who preserves Cornelius as a cruel murderer because of the bloodstained cipher sword he carries on his back. Finally, we have Ingwe, who see Cornelius as nothing more than a shallow and privileged prince undeserving of his kind sister's love because of his own jealousy and cynicism keeps him from seeing the true kindness and nobility of others. Ultimately, Cornelius proves them all wrong. He is not selfish, irresponsible, or cruel, but rather a noble and heroic prince that continues to cling to hope even in the very depths of despair and will always fight for love. However, there is one person in Cornelius' story that always saw him for who he truly was and never tried to paint a mask over him to suit their own agenda. Velvet, who loved Cornelius even after he lost human form because she knew the true depth of his loving heart. Ah, uh, very sweet. Yeah, that's that's a really good point. It's true that when we started the story, you like I kind of thought that was what Cornelius is going to be because they sort of show him like, oh, yeah, the, the first thing you see is his argument with his dad. It makes it look like, oh, yeah, he's like he's a little shithead, right? But he actually really wasn't. Turns out his feelings were actually, you know, legitimate. He wasn't just talking out his ass. And uh, I think seeing that and learning that too as we go through the, the story, right? Not to mention, I think his just coming to terms and accepting his form, right? Was also a very sweet, uh, sweet journey. But Blue Knight, thank you so much for your truly uh, well-written and enlightening comment. 
Uh, and just for that reason, you are comment of the day. <laughs> Look, Alice is sleeping. I've been sitting here long enough. I just look like she fell asleep. You know, one other thing I've learned that you can do is when you sit in the chair. Look at this. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Starts kicking her legs and bounce up and down. It's really funny. Super cute. If you press up on the D pad while you're in the chair, that's what you do. So, all right. So we did it. We've completed two scenarios. Uh, Gwendolyn and Cornelius. So now, moving on to Mercedes. Damn, again, I really was expecting this to be like, to be like Oswald. I actually thought Mercedes might be the last one we get. But it's going out, this is just guessing then by how this is going. My thought process is the next one is likely going to be Oswald. And then it's going to end with Velvet. I say it because I think we're going to do like a swap in gender here every time, right? Girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. That's what I'm thinking. But this would be interesting because we fought her a few times. I really don't know much about like what she has to do with the story. Um, I think is she also a princess of the fairies or something or she's not the queen, right? I think she's a princess, but we fought her a few times and she seems to fight with a crossbow and, and mainly do ranged attacks, which does kind of make me wonder how that's going to how that's going to work in a game like this, where a lot of the game is about like combos and stuff that come from like smacking the enemy a billion times. So I don't know. I'll be very curious to see uh, how her gameplay uh, sort of works with uh, the given system. All righty, Mercedes, let's see what's going on with you. Fairyland, let me tell you a tale. Once upon a time in a starlit forest far, far away. Da, 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 sorry. Fairies lived under the protection of a queen resembling flowers, like a fleeting fantasy. Ringford Gardens. Ah, oh, hello. Princess Mercedes, where have you been? You're quite persistent, aren't you, old man? Wait, Mercedes. I wonder if she can actually just fly freely, too, because of her wings. Mother, wherever are you off to? Oh, that's right. This is the queen, With yeah. my precious bow. We ran her before. Frog hunting. Yes, I see. It is necessary to exterminate those pests that eat the little fairies. But you should leave that task to the soldiers, dear. I just want to improve my skills with the bow, so I can join you on the battlefield. Mercedes, I cannot take you along when we battle the Demon Lord. No! Why not? Mercedes, you are young. You need to learn this. You mustn't be eager to go to war without even knowing why we are fighting. So, why are we fighting? Fuck if I know! We born from the forest cannot live without Fozons, our source of life. Melvin! Fozons are magic elements generated by nature. They are rare outside the forest. Since we have collected them from around the world, we are gifted with prosperity. The Demon Lord has declared war on us so that he may obtain our treasure. Is that what he wants? Our greatest treasure, the Cauldron, will give him enormous power. So, that's why he's attacking? <laughs> Mercedes. I shall entrust you with my precious bow. It will be your responsibility to protect the country while I am away. Yes, Mother. I understand. So, I'll be off hunting now. Oh dear, I wonder if that child understood anything I told her. Tis a problem. She has no idea of her position and what is expected of her. Melvin, you are her cousin. She treats you as a brother. Please help her become a good queen. As you wish. I shall make it my duty to assist Princess Mercedes in any way possible. Voices Mercedes. It sounds familiar. 
Is it uh, uh, Yukari's voice actress? Uh, Mercedes can fly freely. Fly around the stage with, high, with higher platforms. Okay, it was the case. Yeah. Hold X to fly. Can speed up by holding the side or square. Oh, or R1. Okay, I was like, square be a little awkward. Cool. Yeah, it's interesting. So unlike Gwendolyn and Cornelius, she has a red gym. And it actually shows up as red as well up there, which... I wonder how, that, how that's different. I think that's exactly what Velvet has, too, on those chains of hers. And I think Oswald as well on his sword, I, I think. Or is Oswald's, like, purple? I don't know. I'm just going to play into something here. Ah! Oh. <laughs> We're fine. Uh, ugh. It's a mulberry! Run around the mulberry bus! Oh, actually, no, wait. I don't, I don't have to hold it. I don't, I don't know why it's just, I just, oh, it just means to hold X to initiate it and then you can, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Controlling Mercedes. Press square to fire a shot. Land to reload, defeat the enemy by firing shots. At least a powerful charge shot. Eat this. What? Oh, I see. Depending on the time charge, the charge attack may be a shot that traverses the floor or home, homing missiles. Uh oh. Oh, like that. I see. Fire a powerful shot if you lick bat power gather in the bow and don't attack for a set time. Ow. Oh, I think he knocked me out of it. Oh, wait. Wait, what did it say? Oh, no, just don't. I see. The first shot when you don't. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Ah! So, yeah, you don't, you don't fire for a set period of time, and then a big bullet will come out. Oh, I see. Every shot of hers makes her pal go down. Okay. Eat lead. Okay, so I fire lots of shots. That explains how I'm going to build up my chain here. Boom. Here we go. Okay. Money. Guess I'll just go ahead and eat my mulberry here. Yum. Yeah, because this is going to be faster in the air. Makes sense. The near forward headquarters. Your Majesty, the Demon Lord has launched an assault. The Demon Lord? Our soldiers have been pushed back, and some have deserted from the front line. Our guardian dragon is having trouble dealing with Odin's witch. We have no choice but to retreat. Your Majesty, please issue the command. The Demon Lord is invading! So this is the fight at the beginning where... Oh, holy shit! Gwendolyn's sisters die, right? Cipher. Oh, shit. We never see that weapon on uh, Odin before. It's been a while, Elfaria. Fucking mace? Last time you were unusually shrewd and managed to steal the cauldron away from me. Demon Lord Odin. You are beautiful as ever. And yet, I regret that I will have to break your perfect neck like stepping on a lily. Fucking hell, dude. I will not give you the cauldron. You will have to take it by force. Yet I cannot allow you to continue your violent and petty ways unpunished. Say what you will. Your attempts at deception have no effect on me. Observe this blue orb. Behold the might of the wicked eye, Baylor. Queen, accept defeat. With this, I will become absolute ruler of the world. Go, mourn the death of the fairy race. What in the fuck? Holy shit, Odin, calm the hell down, dude. That's like the other face of Odin we have not seen because we never actually saw him in the fights. Princess, please compose yourself. Mother! Shh. Now listen. 
listen carefully to what I have to tell you. It is very important. Oh. Mercedes, you must not look down. Raise your head high and survey the path ahead. You are the next fairy queen. Ringford will soon be in danger. If the magical kettle, the cauldron, if it draws in all the bosons, our forest and our people cannot live. The land needs a leader. You will need to revive the country and get the cauldron back from the demon lord. If you respect my words, you will need to choose the path of royalty over revenge. Be a queen. Tis difficult to place such a burden on one so young. But I know you can do it. Mother believes in you. Mother! Tis my time to go, Mercedes. Oh, dearest Earth, take me. I go back to whence I came. And to the beloved heavens, I will give you my name. I am Elfaria. My true name is Fimble Vetter. Fimble Vetter, huh? Awful winter. Like Fimble Vinter. Disappear with me. Return to the Earth. Oh. The Fairy Queen's Triumph. So no, this actually took place... This must have taken place actually right after... I'll check the story thing. This is actually right after the... Actually, this is this is a bit after uh, Gwendolyn's sister dies. And then she takes up the sword, right? Because we see the Fairy Queen, Alfaria, right before we fight... Though it's the... Yeah, that's right, the dragon. The first That was the first boss fight we have. And then it must have been right after that. Where the fuck? I don't... I, it's funny that we've never seen uh, Odin with that ball before, though. The, the mace. The Forest of Fairies is once a peaceful place where many races lived in tranquility. Queen Alfaria has graced she must unite everyone as a nation. Her legend will be passed down for eons to come, but that great deed did not come easily. The Queen's greatest obstacle was the tension between the fairies and the dwarves. Believing the dwarves' smithing skills invaluable, the, the Queen tried compromise, but the fairies bristled at their diplomacy, sl slowing talks. And when they acquired the magic cauldron, opinions clashed further. The dwarves wanted to use the cauldron's supreme power to its fullest, making it a foundation of the nation's might. The fairies opposed to reusing the dangerous cauldron, remembering its role in the destruction of Valentine. Tensions soon flared into war. In the heat of battle, the losing dwarves to try to control the cauldron and caused a magical flood that swept through the forest. The queen ordered all soldiers to rescue everyone, friend or foe, and stood against the cauldron herself, stifling its onslaught and preventing further damage to the land. The war was over. The dwarves awaited their punishment, but the queen spoke instead of, of forgiveness. She gave them citizenship and encouraged them to make peace with the fairies. Touched by her clemency, the dwarves pledged allegiance to the queen. And thus did the races of dwarf and fairy reconcile. Except for the ones that helped Odin for reasons. Part of a historical record by Queen Alfaria by Matthew, her advisor, the magic Al Ar arbalest that the blacksmith Brom, hey Brom, th that the blacksmith Brom presented to the queen became a symbol of her protection. Hmm. Interesting. Fairyland! That was a quickie. Yeah, so her story starts right here. Actually, between this part here at the start, there's also quite a bit of time had passed. So Wagner takes his disguise carrying Cornelius, uh, his destination in the ruins of Valentine, the origin of the curse. Is that wow, I was actually really far into Cornelius's thing already. Finds Meryl, Lapuka, here's Velvet, enter the battle. Gwilin fights her way to the Veneer stronghold. Queen Afari unleashed a dreadful dragon. Yep, there's that. He's arrived. Velvet's being attacked by the fair a fairy girl. Interesting. So I actually don't play the fights that they have, right? Trusted with the ring to the cauldron, Cornelius must fight. Which means that more than likely I'm not gonna get in a fight with Gwendolyn and Velvet's side, right? Because we didn't actually see the fight with uh with Cornelius here. Though it could be possible we might see some fights that we didn't see on their side at some point, you know? Yeah, so then it goes from this. The demon lord seeing the cauldron advanced with his army and faces the queen. He gets it. After the Aesir's victory, the Aesir's victory, the cauldron is finally in Odin's hands. However, the cauldron's fire goes out as he finds it. Okay, so now we're actually gonna be continuing a little bit just, just after this fight, which is happens before Gwendolyn sets out to capture the witch. Ooh, we got a yellow theme for uh, Mercedes here. Uh, Grace Moon, speak ball and fight. Flight. Sounds good. Princess Mercedes, 
We have so many injured that we have run out of sick beds and medicine. What shall we do? Well, um, uh, uh, uh. Uh oh. Let us open the Southern Imperial Villa and house the wounded there. I shall notify our mages to increase healing potion production. Aw. Princess Mercedes, I hope this is adequate. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> She's too young, right? She's too young to be set into this, uh, this role. I do hope that the... Uh, I wonder if the advisor is going to end up being a good guy or not. I hope he is. But he actually looks after her and is not like... Uh, doesn't, like, use, uh, his position. What the fuck? Oswald, what are you doing here? So you must be Melvin's Shadow Knight. Pardon me. I'm not feeling well. So he's got... He does also, like, uh... Her, I think, have a... Uh, a red gem uh, on his weapon. I think that's the same as Velvet. So only Cornelius and Gwendolyn have blue ones. Wait, so Me Pardon. Melvin... Wait, which was Melvin again? Is that you? Do we have character uh, uh, profiles anywhere? We don't, do we? Melvin. Foes on yeah, okay. Sorry, I, I back up. Watch this again so I could... It is Melvin. Okay, no, yeah. This guy's Melvin. So if he's a, a Melvin's Dark Knight, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna be a fucking evil, abusive shithead, all right? He more than likely is using Oswald for his own purposes as well. Knowing that the Demon Lord is on his way here makes me nervous. Do you think that girl can fulfill her duties as queen in these times of strife? Her cousin Melvin is quite dependable. He ought to take her place. Hmm. You know I'm right here, by the way, right? Knowing that the Demon Lord... Do you think that... Your Majesty, I'm extremely unhappy. Fuck you. In the past, the former queen battled with the dwarves for the cauldron. When we were defeated, we left our forges and became Lilipats. But the dwarves who escaped the fairies joined forces with the Demon Lord ah. and made more weapons to hurt us. Well, there you go. There's my answer. Why some dwarves stuck around. Well, well. Just let me know if there's anything you need. What was that well, well for? What? What are you judging me for? I don't know you. You don't know me. Fucking die, peasant! Wait, die, peasant! Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I felt such a strong need to do that. I wasn't even that pissed at that guy. Oh well. Your Majesty, I swear by my horn. I will fight to the end for Queen Elfaria. Oh fuck, I, I know. Thank you. I fought enough of you guys to know that yes, you will indeed fight to the end. You sack of shit. Fuck you. Alright, the deep forest of Elrit. Back to being a basic level one bitch again. It has not been long since you lost your mother. Perhaps you need a vacation. But Melvin, I'm... Allow me to handle the governmental affairs. The people will be fine. Are you suggesting that the queen is a burden? Absolutely not. Melvin... The Chief Armorer would like to discuss something with you. I'll see him immediately. Excuse me, I must be on my way. So he's controlling the armed forces as he wishes. Just as Mother said, I cannot do anything. Queen Mercedes, please control yourself. There's something strange in the air here. Melvin is acting highly suspiciously. His heart burns with ambition, and he seems to be making some kind of plan. He's not showing anything on the surface, but we can't let this continue. Smart dwarf! You should be queen! Let us speak with the sorcerer who served Queen Elfaria. The famous sorcerer Beldor, who enslaves a dragon and sees the netherworld. It is better to have a dependable expert on our side. I doubt he will cause a rebellion within the land, but who can say? If the country collapses after Queen Alfaria's death, the Demon Lord truly wins. I have heard that Beldor has retreated to a place in the forest. If Queen Mercedes should visit him in the forest, he should be honored to help. Beldor! Wait, which one's Beldor again? 
Was that the purple dragon? Find the formal vassal Beldor who resides in the depths of the forest. Actually, no, no, no. He said a vassal, so I don't, I don't think that would be... No, that, that wouldn't be a, the dragon. Sorry, is it, no, this, that's Belial. Belial's a dragon. Yeah, sorry. Is it, there's a lot of character names. I'm starting to lose track of some of these guys. All right, who we got? Hey, you, shit, die, Carateer. Yeah, so it's interesting. The, there's not really uh Oh, wait, no, I... Wait, hold on. No, I can't shoot up in the air. Oh, wait, no, there is aiming. If I'm up in the air, I can... Uh, I can sort of aim. Yeah, but if I'm on the ground... I can't really. Also, I think the, the powered up charge shots take more more pow. Oh, yeah. And every time I reload, I see it actually fully recharges my thing. I get it. Yeah, it does. It takes it takes more uh, more shots. Makes sense. Die, you little bastards. Did I poison him? Or did you guys poison yourselves? Holy shit, we messed up. Arrgh! Oh shit. Wow, A rank? Fuck. Let's try that again. Might have to get used to this. Probably pretty rough at first when I have no moves. Okay, there we go. Yeah, her play style is very different from Gwendolyn or, uh, uh, or Cornelius. <laughs> she licks her hand when she's done it. Yeah, yeah, I'll lick your hands. I'm gonna lick my hands clean. Gross. Please don't. Please, Abril! <laughs> oh, what? Can I not reload if I'm in the air? Oh, I don't think I can. I think I have to be on the ground to reload. Yeah, I think I have to be down here to do that. All right, foes on. Give me a move, please. God. A uh, round shot. Fire a huge magical magic bullet. Wait, how's that different from what I'm already doing? All right. Uh, so deforce of Elrit. End of the bridge. Beware the red cap. Okay. I guess we're just going to upgrade this. Yeah, it takes six foes on, so that's a lot. Mid boss stage. Oh, Jesus Christ already. Oh, God. Oh, uh, whoa. Uh, well, that's cool. Uh. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, that's pretty effective, actually. Boom. Blah, 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 blah. Uh. Ow. All right, there we go. Saturn Bangle. Damage dealt and taken up 10%. You know what? Sure. Her reload is really slow. Oh, hey, there is something to re to uh, to make it faster. I think I might want to go for that as soon as possible, to be honest. It's going to take a while to get to it, but that's going to take... Let's see. 4, 6, 9, 13. 13 ability points. I think I'm going to get that as soon as possible. Because that does seem to be a very big uh, part of her her power. Although this this also, to, to be fair, having this would also help increase auto auto recovery speed. But being able to reload quickly so she can get back in the action. So like, if I'm up in the air here, so wait, is it even auto? It's not even auto recovery. Is it? Oh, it doesn't recover flight. But if I'm on the ground, now it auto recovers. Okay. So if I'm flying, my pal will not recover. And then I can reload to get an auto, a, a free run. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of little nuances. I don't think the tutorial really talked about too much. So I'm sort of like figuring out here. Stay on the ground. And it's, now it's auto recovering. Then do that to make it go faster. I, I really hope that the, uh, the quick reload is actually a quick reload and it's not fucking with me here. Cause I think, I, I think that's the one I want to go for as quickly as possible. Wow, a fairy. I finally met a fairy. Wow! Hey, listen, I'm running a shop here. Why not? Yeah, 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 all right. Give me an area map, sir. Yeah. 
Okay, she does, she can move uh, or reload fast enough to at least keep the chain going. So it's not like the chain gets completely fucked every time she reloads, which is good. Yeah, I'm juggling the fuck out of that little frog. Ah! Oh, let me die! Let, just let me die! Oh, another mid-boss. Ah! Eat lead mid-boss plant! Ah! I'm reloading. <laughs> reloading again. Out. Oh, God. Boom. Boom. Ow. Oh, God, I'm about to die, boy. Ah, fucking shit, ah! Didn't realize I was poisoned. I was still a few folks on shooting lead! Boom! Die! Whew! Ow. I have a slight boo-boo. Ooh, a star pendant. Oh, max HP plus 10%? Yes, please. Oh, yeah, one thing I can't do in the air either is I can't suck bosons. Yeah, I cannot. Yeah, you're quite quite limited what you can do in the air. You won't be able to reload, you can't recover your pal, and you cannot absorb phosons. So you really can't stay up there for that long. Okay, I'm starting to get her down a little bit here. I'm starting to understand. Just gotta really keep your distance. Make sure you reload. Keep the the pain going. But it's interesting. I I'm, I'm not. I don't dislike it. It's, I'm I'm starting to get it. I think I, I think I also like it probably more as I get more skills, like it was with Cornelius. Already having this big ginormous bam shot is pretty sick. Okay, clearly I missed this uh, somewhere along the way here. Let me let me read this again. End of the bridge. Beware the red cap. End of bridge. So did I come across a bridge somewhere? Oh, bridge. Here we go. End of bridge, beware the red cap. I am flying all around this. I am not seeing anything. Oh, wait, there's a bridge here, too. Uh, I am not having a whole lot of luck here. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? Holy shit, wait. So, I guess this must be... Okay, I guess it must be... This is the at the end of the bridge... Beware the red cap? What the fuck? What's the red cap here? I don't even know. I just stumbled across this. No idea. I'll take it, though. What'd I get? A uh, foes on burst. Knock away surrounding foes by bursting the cypher's energy. Uh, cool. So this one costs four foes ons. Which is a little less than the other one. I think it might be like a shotgun. Yeah. Holy shit! Well, that was cool. All right, let's see uh, who we're dealing with here. Does Beldor really live here? Ah. Frog! Oh no! What should I do? Oh, what's going on here? You stupid frog. I dropped my mother's bow. Now, how is that my fault? Oh, this pond is full of frogs. Ingwei. Oh, no. I can't find it. The pond is deep in places. I could dive and look for it. Hmm. But if I help you, that's why he got called. What a can you do for me in return? Why he got called a frog before? Well, I, I won't shoot any more frogs. <laughs> I'm wasting my time here. Hey, wait! I know. I will grant just one wish for you. Will you please find my bow? Okay, it's a deal. It's right by your foot. What a greedy little frog. What a little bitch. He probably bitch. has some stupid, pointless wish anyway. <laughs> Jeez, Mercedes. Ah, Jesus. Princess Mercedes, what are you doing in this swamp? Her 
perfect timing. I have been looking for you, my loyal sorcerer, Beldor. Oh, okay. I have a request for you. I would like to ask for your assistance. I have a dilemma. I am currently a faithful servant to King Melvin. Melvin is not king. Make no mistake, I am queen. No, he shall be the new king very soon. Now come, Belial. Oh, Swallow God damn this it! this little queen and make her disappear. Oh, God. Here we go again, right? Right, Mercedes? Deja vu all over again. Ha ha ha. That means you're probably going to end your quest. Is this what you lost? Fest by fighting the uh, undead hey. queen lady. <laughs> little help? Ha ha ha. Yeah, because it seems like, seems like all the sorcerers have, like, control over this guy, right? It wasn't just, like, one sorcerer. Because this isn't the same dude that we... That we saw, uh, controlling him before. It's like, all the sorcerers. Oh, god damn it! Arrgh, what are you gonna learn, you stupid dragon? Boom! Eat this! Hold on, reloading. Ow! You motherfucker! Arr. That's right. Wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna bore you. I can do this. No, no, no. Come back, come back. Where's the potion, damn it? Where'd it go? Oh, I think I got it. <laughs> I think I picked it up and I didn't realize it. All right. Fuck this. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, we're reloading. Okay, I guess I deserve that. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 no, 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 Uh oh, I might be dead. I'm dead. Damn it. Unload Mercedes. Let him have it. Show no mercy. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, no, you can't catch me. Can't catch me. Oh, he starts sucking up the frogs and actually heals them, too, when that happens. Hold on. Reloading. <laughs> Shoot that ball back at you. Eat this. Uh. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 Walmart. <laughs> this is kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of enjoying this. Stay back! Back, you cannibal! I cannot let you return. Behold! Please prepare yourself. I want to finger you. Ugh. What the? With my weird fingers. He He's poisoned me. This will have to wait. Ran off, hey? Oh, what the fuck? Damn it! Is that a cipher? Holy shit! You're awful! My skills are ruined! Why'd you do that? D do you want to continue? I do not! Lower your weapon! Stop shooting me, please! I must obey that sorcerer's commands! If only he were God, I would be able to enjoy a moment of freedom! I'm sorry. I didn't know, and I... Are you showing compassion to a creature that threatened you? Just for that, I'm eating your Kind-hearted ass! Kind-hearted young queen. Listen to my warnings. The flames of rebellion are in the flower garden. A mutiny has begun. ruh -ro. It must be Melvin. You must act now. Otherwise, you cannot turn back. Hey, wait! What about your promise? He's like, son of a bitch. Interesting. Anyway, why are you a frog, dude? And how do you turn back? What should I do? Actually, now I think about it, at this point, Cornelius has got turned to a, to a rabbit, right? So, like, why would then he... 
Hmm. Did he? Was he a frog already when he turned Cornelius into a rabbit, or did he get? I guess he probably got turned into it afterwards. That's what I would think, at least. I don't imagine he has any like a magic abilities while in that form. Uh, first shot. Is that a passive? Yep. Enhanced first shot whenever you have not fired for a while. That sounds good. I like that. Hello. Dean Mercedes. I'm glad we could meet. I had no idea that Melvin had already convinced the sorcerer to join him. Yeah, what a dick. Your Majesty, this is serious. Melvin has seized political power. Already? The palace is in disarray. Jesus. Everyone fears his shadow knight, and some have fled. Hmm. Oh, I bet this time I'm going to fight uh, Oswald, which actually I think will be... Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually... I've actually fought Oswald up to this point. So I don't know how he fights. Please rest assured, everyone here is loyal to you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Karen Strassman Fairy. What can I do with so few people, though? All five of us are loyal to you. Isn't that, isn't that great? This revolt was a deliberate uprising. Melvin's too shrewd. He must have been planning this back when Queen Elfaria was still alive. I just realized, does your bow have like a face on it? <laughs> I think it does. Wherever the fuck you're holding. Ah. Please stay hopeful, Queen Mercedes. We have captured some of the dissidents, but others have fled. I sound like I have food in my mouth. I am certain that others will join our forces. <laughs> I've never seen so many fairies all together. It's like a dream. It's like a dream. Now buy my wares, please. All right, where are we off to this time? So we went to from there to the ring for forest of fairies. Half the nobles of Ringford support Melvin and the other half is undecided. Melvin has occupied the palace and is sending troops to capture the queen. Though we are few, we are soldiers who are loyal to Queen Alfaria's daughter. It seems that some have locked themselves into a wing of the palace to fight. Can anyone do anything? God damn it! Please, do something! You are so spoiled. Do something! Ah. You always assume that somebody will come along to take care of things for you. Yes, that's why you're here, right? This will be difficult. If you want to be queen, you must take the lead. Or no one will follow. Shut up, Liam O'Brien. Frog, you're... <sighs> you're a big doo-doo head. You're exactly right. I will return to the palace. Those who will fight alongside me, come on! Huzzah! Just kidding, just get out of my way, alright? Fight alongside me by staying the fuck out of my way unless you be killed by one of my stray bullets. Suppress the rebellion and regain the palace! Alright, so what are we dealing with this time for, uh... Ability locations? Uh, look back at the small ho hole after diving in. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. oh god! Oh Jesus Christ! This is my hell! This is my hell! Ah! <laughs> if I can just get juggled endlessly, freaking love it. Oh, I got something. Uh, drain. Uh, two seeds. Okay. Damn it, muscle ray! Ah, damn it! Unicorn man, you would treat air turn against me. I trusted you. Ah! Yeah, so much for fucking fighting for me, huh? You dumb dickhead. Get back over here. Stop it. Die, you motherfuckers. You are the chosen one, Pegasus Man! You're supposed to fight for me, not turn against me, you dickhead! Oh well. You kill one horseman, you just go buy yourself a new one. But I got him always sick. The tree is clogged with leaves, so you cannot enter? I assume this is a uh, fire, right? Really? Nothing? Ah, come on! These are flammable! Oh. Cyclone. Okay. 
Wind, not fire, you idiot. Even if that makes complete sense, that's obviously not right. Hiya, guys. How's the fight going? Good news, Queen Mercedes. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. The noblemen to the south have joined our cause. They are heading towards the palace as we speak. Their arrival is imminent. Good for them. I've already killed everybody by this point. I'm glad you're safe, Your Majesty. I've been hiding since I escaped from the palace. Please buy whatever you'd like. Give you a discount. Really? No, not really. Oh. All right, well, we got dealing with in this area here. Yeah, pretty good size there. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Hi there. Queen Mercedes. Marora. Please beware the Belder River Handler. If he cloaks himself in darkness, there is no stopping him. If this happens, please do your best to get away. Oh, okay. So if he does that, just run. Oh, that's cute. I even actually wiggles. It's a a snail stuck to the wall. I used to climb up. That's actually that's actually kind of that's actually kind of cute. All right, new foes on. A uh, slip slide. Fire repeatedly toward the air while slipping past foes. Okay, sounds cool. That sounds like an up move. All right, let me go ahead and get this one. Uh, more likely to knock foes away with normal shots. Sounds good. Oh, this one actually uses uh, more pow. Good. Whoa! Oh, that's that was sick looking. Go. Fucking slippy slide. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I wonder if I actually damage people on the ground if I slide into them. I, I hope I do. Woo! Eat this, ladies! Holy wow, that's very effective against flying enemies. Oh god, another mid boss. What are we dealing with? Oh god, the mushroom shit! Oh, interesting. She started. She's starting off as a sexy mushroom lady, and not a weird tiny thing. Oh, we're right now, baby. Eat that. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, oh, fuck, he slugged the shit out of me. Die, mushroom man, lady, person. Oh, I think it's the uh, speed belt. Yep. Ring speed. Uh, I don't know, that's gonna be very good for her, to be honest. All right, more likely to knock foes away with attacks while POW is at 100%. Okay. Oh, I think I already see it. Can I enter because the uh, entrance is. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, gotta find the uh, shrinky thing. Oh, there it is. All right. Now back I go. Here we are. Okay, so I can cancel out of it like that. Uh, so what did it say? I, I have a feeling it's going to be like one of these. Look back at the small hole after diving in. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is it. There's a fight in here. Ah! There we are. Power recovery. Passive. Uh, increase the amount of pow healed when receiving damage. Ooh, yes. Anything that gets more pow back uh, more quickly is definitely good. Oh, mid boss. Another goddamn unicorn knight. Son of a bitch. This thing's gonna fucking learn. Ah, oh, die, you dumb horse. Jesus. Okay. I have a very distinct feeling I'll be fighting Oswald now. And it's the first time I've actually actually done that, so this will be totally new. Quite the spectacle. You are totally surrounded. <laughs> Fucking laser beams point at point right at your head. It's only a matter of time until your small number of allies have been repelled. Give it up. You are no leader. Once I become the king, and if you choose to obey me, I shall allow you to live as I am a man indebted to the former queen. I refuse. Then I have no choice. 
Lord Melvin. What is it? It... it's a frog. I don't understand it. That disgusting creature appeared in the palace and the troops are disoriented. Oh, I can't rely on you for anything. Oh, well, maybe he can use his magic in his frog form. Tis useless to try to figure out what I have done. That jeweled bow that you hold is extremely powerful. But be warned, you are not the only one who wields a cipher. Oswald? Oh boy. Why not test the Bell Deriver? On the Queen herself. Damn it, Oswald! Shadow Knight! Oh boy, alright, let's see how this goes. Take this, Oswald! I used to love you, but now I'm gonna fucking kill you! Oh shit! Oh fuck, he's fucking me up! Uh. Wait, where are you going? Uh. Did you just like go through a fucking portal or something? Oh god, oh god, I'm getting fucked up! Uh. Oh, that's a problem. Glug, glug, glug. I was well hold on to this. I think I'm oh, fucking hell. I picked the wrong thing. Hold on to this. Arr! Woo! Now this side. Woo! Now this side. Woo! Uh, uh, uh. Go to heaven, Oswald. Uh. <laughs> Fucking hell, Oswald, calm down. Oh, Jesus Christ, darkness reigns. Don't get some Vanitas. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can still hurt him when he's in this four. Oh, God. Wow. His dark, dank demon form. Okay, he's not invulnerable, at least. Remember the way the other guy was talking about it? I was afraid that meant he was, like, completely invulnerable when he was like this. They're not that mean. Uh! <laughs> I was going to stand there looking around for me while I'm shooting me in the ass. Yeah, just stand there, Oswald. Yeah, just stand there. You got it. You got it, Oswald. You got it, shit, man. You got it, brother. Whoa, that was sick. He tosses his blade and he jumps to it. Ugh, that was hot. That was hot as fuck, Oswald. Look, look, look. Hold this. Oh god, he's pissed. Ugh. Oh, uh oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, I gotta get, oh god, oh god, um, drink this as fast as you possibly can. Ah! Holy shit! Fucking die, please! Ah! Yeah, he's strong as fuck in that form, though. Whew. That was close. Fucking die, Oswald. Let me create a top paradox. Frog friends, even though I was killing you in the first mission of the game. Your Majesty, the rebellion has been suppressed. Where is Melvin? He fought to the end, and he has returned to the heavens. Really? Someone reported seeing his shadow knight being taken by a holia. Did he really die off screen? I really? see. I don't know if I believe that. Hey. Don't kill the frogs here. They are really fairy soldiers. This medicine will return them to normal. Ah, but what about you? Did you change Melvin's soldiers into frogs? Yes, I slipped a little transformation potion into their drinks. Well, now that your reinforcements have arrived, it's time for your promise. 
As you see, I am a frog now, but I was originally human. However, it seems my curse is slightly different. Ah. I've tried already, but that potion won't cure me. As far as I know, a kiss. a kiss from a powerful fairy is able to break a spell of this type. I knew it! You are fairy royalty, so I assume you are powerful. What? <laughs> what? So, that's my wish. What? <laughs> Can the Queen of the Fairies go back on her word? I I need to prepare myself. Just give me some time. <laughs> Interesting. It seems like every character actually has like a a uh, a romantic or potential romance here, right? So we have Gwendolyn and uh, Oswald. We have Cornelius and Velvet, and now it looks like we have Ingwe and Mercedes. Actually, I wasn't sure if Mercedes was gonna have somebody, but. I suppose that makes sense, right? Uh, spread shot. Okay, this is probably like a shotgun, right? Fire repeatedly in a radial pattern. Shotgun! Go. Cool. Huzzah, victory has been had. This is good. I'm actually, I'm actually rather enjoying uh, playing as Mercedes. Again, took a little getting used to, but... I sort of get her her game plan. It really is about like sort of keep away, but it's definitely possible and and doable to to build up combos with her. Yeah, all the characters in this game just feel very very well designed. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe. If you're not already, become a P penguin. I'll boy this cell P, where the day's always sunny and the vids are always funny. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying, I think, more of the story, too, as I'm, I'm seeing it all, like, come together here. And we're also learning more about Odin and the fairy side. I'll be curious to see how this uh, all starts to come together with everyone. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy!